Hello again, it is me, HTG Brian, and guess what? We've got level 15 Red King Revelation free play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. We're going to get all of those collectibles, all 10 mini kits. We're going to freely, 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 and of course get that character token and 35,000. That's easy. All right, here we are out in front of the Avengers Mansion. Quick shout out to you guys for following along and watching this video. And if you don't mind, or if you feel we maybe helped you out, go ahead and click that like button and feel free to share this with all your friends and family as well. Now, I wanted to show you something real quick here. As you guys know, when you hit the pause button, you can actually access the character card that you have selected. You can actually flip it over and you can actually see the attributes and even find out when his first comic or her first comic appearance was, uh, depending on who you have activated. Now, one thing I found out late in the game is you can actually spin around the character card while using the character select screen. So, uh, basically hold down the character select button, it'll pop up all of the different people, simply hit that character select button again, and booyah kashow, it'll flip that card around and tell you all of the specialties and backstory of that particular character. So, pretty cool stuff, I figured I would share that little tidbit with you, but hey, let's go ahead and choose Red King Revelation free play. As you can see, we don't have any of those collectibles yet, but we're going to knock them all out. Now, this level's kind of funky. There are quick links down below in the video description if you want to use them, but they're all back to back to back, and then there's like seven or eight minutes of me just fighting the boss. Now, I thought about removing that boss battle, but I kind of removed the last couple, so I figured I'd leave this one in. All right, to start things off, we're going to go ahead and pick up one gold stud that gives us 384,000, giving us that true believer. But more importantly, to the left of that, up on this rear balcony here, we're actually going to find three of these little flags that need to be rolled out, or I guess they're banners of some sort. Now, this is kind of tricky over here. The third one is kind of in the middle of the, well, it's the left middle, but there's also a bad guy keeping Stan Lee hostage over there. We'll come back to him in a minute, and I have some more info on that as well as it kind of was wonky. I had to replay this level a couple times, unfortunately. But all right, so we got five total banners. We got three on the left balcony and two on the right. Once you get all five of these unrolled, guess what? Mini kit. That's right. Go ahead and collect it. Booyaka shao. Next up, we're going to go ahead and head over to this hamburgesa. That's right. There's a hamburger up here in the stands. It is large and in charge. It looks like something that uh, maybe the Hulks would eat. Now, at the end of this level, we actually make up some like rock cakes or some sort of food that's like giant rocks. I would imagine those Hulks would probably prefer one of these burgers instead. But go ahead and... Well, yeah, you saw what we did there. We manipulated it with telekinesis and then used Star-Lord to go ahead and gravity boost that mini kit down. Now, right around the corner, you can see Stan and his foe has moved. That's okay, though. It made it easier for us to go ahead and collect all these silver studs that he pukes out. Ready? Blech. There they are, but hey, guess what? We've officially freed Lee, and we're going to move just to the left of him. And guess what? There is an electric panel you may have missed. We ran right by it already once. But, man, I'm not sure what Stan was doing there. He was kind of hanging out, uh, and then I shocked him, and he took off. So I, I guess he doesn't like being shocked. But look at that. We'll go ahead and pump, 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 pump up that electric panel up there, and it pukes out a mini kit too. So this is going rather swiftly for us. And I got to be honest, guess what? We're going to switch to a character who has the double grapple ability because we got another mini kit right here. I told you they were back to back. No quick links needed. Now, in this particular case, we could have smashed this building that was kind of covering up our mini kit and preventing us from getting in there, but it, I had to wait for those other bricks to disappear. All right, go ahead and quickly switch to a character with a silver brick breaking ability because we've got five, that's right, count them, five of these armor statues scattered throughout. Now, they're actually just kind of armor pieces that all happen to be on old skeletons. Four of them are down low. You can see two are on the left. One is right in the middle. Now, this fourth one is actually kind of tricky. It's hiding behind another obstacle. You can't actually see it unless you move the camera because it's a funny angle. But you can see I blasted it up on that wall there and the last one's actually being worn by an unsuspecting spectator here. So we'll go ahead and blast him with one of our rockets, collect our mini kit and move back down to this big, I don't know, I guess it's some sort of a, a bowl or some, some sort of a barrel or so, something. We'll go ahead and knock it over and what? It catches fire. That's a little weird. And <laughs> look at this. We've got the attention of the locals here which is not very productive we got to switch over to somebody who can stamp out the fire of course somebody like crystal with the freeze ray should be able to get her done too but go ahead regardless of what you choose go ahead and pick up that mini kit 
All right. So, uh, hey, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and set those notifications so you get all of our stuffs. All right. This one's really important. It is crucial that you pay attention to what the time is doing here. You have to roll counterclockwise to get the way you want. If you go clockwise, you're going to actually rewind time. I know that's backwards, right? So if you go the way with time, it's actually backwards. And if you go the way against time, it's forwards. And we want to go... Oh, it's so confusing. Just go counterclockwise first and then go clockwise because you can see the flower goes away and although we have a dig spot, which is great, we can dig that up, but now we no longer have access to get that flower. So if you did this one first, you're probably going to have to play this level over again as that was one of the reasons why I had to replay it. Now, uh, the other ones were my fault, user error. But the guide actually was uh, labeled wrong. Uh, Tyler P. unfortunately had the wrong thing, but we've already corrected it, so no worries. And sorry for throwing you under the bus, Tyler, but just making good conversation, I guess. All right, next up, we're going to use Black Panther again. We need his tracking ability. Now, we could use somebody like Rocket Raccoon as well, and it doesn't really matter which one you choose. You just need to follow the old white brick road there. And look at that. I got knocked off my path, but ooh, this is an improvement. Normally, you have to go back to the beginning and start all over, but I kind of got to the halfway point there, and I made it all the way to the finish line, and I can dig up these buildable bricks, which actually turn into a, a rake. What are we going to do with a rake? Oh, looks like we've got some cleanup to do. Now, I have a lot of golf in my history. I actually played high school golf, for some of you who don't know that. A little fun fact for you. I lettered in golf. <laughs> Nerd alert. Uh, anyhow, we go ahead and we're going to clean the trap. That's right. After you get in the sand, which I unfortunately found my way into the bunkers a time or two, you have to use the rake and clean it up. That's kind of what we're doing here, except for we're revealing one of these I, I, I've still yet to come up with the proper name for this, but it's some sort of a roller deal that you can use Groot or Ms. Marvel on to go ahead and move those spikes out of the way and give you access to Beta Ray Bill. That's right. So we got our character token. We've already freed Lee. Last but not least, we just got a couple of mini kits left, right? So. Uh, as you guys probably know, there is a mini kit that's right behind that door on the left-hand side right there. So uh, here in a minute, once we progress some of the story stuff, we will see that door open, and then we have to just sneak inside and grab it. But before doing that, we figured we'd fly up top and try not to attack the old Red King, as he seems to have a little bit of bigger firepower than we do. His button apparently is bigger than ours. <laughs> but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, melt that golden chest in the back, which reveals the ninth mini kit. So next up, we've got some story-based elements to do and it starts with us melting the bottom of this guy's little floating turret i guess and look at that he goes down crash bang boom the hulk grabs him and throws him across the room look at that booyakasha we've now got some buildable bricks which turns out to be a captain america shield switch which we can then use the old captain and his shield to go ahead and open the door and that's going to give us access to the final mini kit but there's some weird stuff that goes on right here first of all i got this weird like mech thing attacking me he just kind of came out of nowhere and then he just takes off well, that was nice of him to come bother me and then leave but uh then we open this up right so i, I flip the switch these guys come out we get this cinematic view of this turret Ooh, it's a gold turret we'll go ahead and melt that down in a second but now i'm way over here so i gotta run over there so it kind of takes you away from this mini kit and it's hard to see it's actually tucked in there on the left hand side Booyaka show! all right pat yourselves on the back and like i said earlier if we felt we helped you out and showed you the way to those collectibles feel free to click that like button down below or head on over to any of our social medias and follow us there most importantly i would suggest going over to our facebook page as we do have a weekly giveaway there however instagram and twitter will also get you those links and information on how you can enter which is pretty much the same thing every week but uh all right so that being said all of the collectibles have officially been collected uh we just got the story based stuff to do so if you've already done this you are welcome to go ahead and save and quit the level and that should get you all the collectibles and take you to the final totals if you have not completed this then you're probably playing the story and it's kind of weird you're watching our free play for that but uh what we're gonna do is go ahead and switch to a character with the grapple ability so we can go ahead and rip down this plug and that's right we're gonna drain this baddie's dreams of success and oh that didn't look like it felt very good but uh he crashes into the wall gives us a few buildable bricks we'll use those to build up what appears to be another captain pad so look at that we got west wild west captain i'm not sure why we got him out but he's kind of cool he's fun he's different and uh, we'll build that up and oh yeah that's right we got this ninja and you know these guys in the swords i have the worst time trying to defeat these guys they seem to block all of my attacks and they do this crazy 
like a uh, hamstring thing. I don't know, but regardless, it, it it's annoying. But, ooh, look at that. I actually hopped on the old spot there, and he took off. So that was convenient. Very nice and polite of him. But uh, we'll go ahead and bounce our shield off the boingers and, oh, open the door. Uh-oh, this guy, he looks like he means business. Oh, and he does, too. Look at that. He says, get out of my way. <laughs> but, hey, there's a bluesy and a couple golds in there, too. So you got to make sure you get in there because you know us. Got to get them all. But, uh, all right, so we've got 212 million studs already. Boy, uh, you know, we certainly won't be lacking any studage as the game continues. I know we have a lot of other things to buy, like character tokens, and who knows? There might even be some stuff in the open free world areas that uh, we might actually have to purchase some stuff. But Man, you know, this is I, this is the third or fourth time this has totally made me look like a noob. I go stand by where the bricks are all bouncing around, and I'm pressing circle, I'm pressing circle, I'm pre it's not building, it's not building, and all of a sudden it shows me, oh wait, hey, you gotta go over here and build it. That's ah, so nice of the game. At least it tells us where the build spot is, but hey, remember those rock cakes I was talking about earlier? I'm telling you, this is not good on the old Hulk teeth. I'm sure that burger would have been a lot better. But uh, these guys go crazy for rock cakes, though. Look at that. Mmm, rock cakes. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, look at that. Oh, is he happy? I can't tell. Uh, I'm not sure he's... The reviews are in. The Yelp scores are low. Uh, looks like we probably won't be returning for any rock cakes anytime soon. But, uh, all right, last but not least, you know Lego, the rule of three. So we got a third floating chariot up here. we got to go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. You can use your special electric character. doesn't matter which one you use. Oh, what's this? Cutscene. That should have been removed. Brian, what are you doing? Uh, okay, well, at least it was quick. We skipped it. And, all right, well, uh, next up we've got this giant serpent thing in the back, and it's got some gold on its neck. Now, I kind of get sidetracked, and I go ahead, and I put out the fire. I smash this down, and I even build up a reflection pad here. But let's just go ahead and take a detour and talk about Facebook again. Every Friday, which... I'm not going to make any notes of what day it is today, but I will say that there is probably a contest going on or one happening soon if, uh, well, depending on when you're watching this. You know, usually the contests go from Friday to Sunday, so you got a couple of days to go ahead and enter. And sometimes the winner doesn't actually claim their prize right away, so sometimes it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday before we actually select a winner. So sometimes these contests actually go a week long, but that's just based on if the winner collects or not. Now, back to the story part here. Instead of standing on that reflection pad and trying to use his hot or stanky breath or whatever's going on from that serpent to go ahead and reflect it back and melt it, we can go just go ahead and pull out Iron Man or anybody with a heat ray to go ahead and melt that gold and then of course he comes down and he goes for the battle and I find that using the rockets is not a bad option as it does a fair amount of damage and you can hit him from a distance now when you get up close and personal I don't know why but I've just had bad luck lately with my uh, punches landing and look at that I got a little baby Groot out now uh, something too that I forgot to mention and this is very not important but uh, I accidentally had both Groot and Baby Groot out in my party during one of my accidental flubbubs. That's right. Remember I told you earlier I had to play this this level a couple of times over. Once because of the clockwise, counterclockwise thing. But uh, three other times because of my mistake. So, yeah. Uh, that all being said, I ended up accidentally having both Groot and Mini Groot out. Or Baby Groot. And I actually got a trophy achievement called We Are Groot. So, I don't know if that needs a video or not. It's like one of those really simple ones where you just simply have to have the characters unlocked. And you get them unlocked for completing the story. In fact, I don't even think you have to be but like two or three levels in before you actually have the ability to do that. But, uh, anyhow, I figured I'd go ahead and mention it. Seeing though I had like eight or ten extra minutes to just flap my yapper here. <laughs> because of the way the collectibles worked out in this level. Now, uh, one of the things that I think I'm going to start doing, though, and, and I figured I would take this opportunity to go ahead and let you guys know, the people who do actually stick around and watch these story videos, uh, you may or may not know that YouTube actually categorizes people's videos in the search partially by the watch time and how long the video is. So uh, it takes kind of a percentage of how long the video actually is. And there is an ideal video length that they think a video should be, which is kind of terrible for us because, you know, these levels are sometimes they're really short, sometimes they're really long. So every level is different for us. We don't really have a, like a sweet spot. Some are five minutes, some are 25 minutes. So uh, that all being said, you watching these videos really helps us out. However, if we can shorten our videos in certain situations like this one and maybe throw a card in there to reference one of our other longer videos that's not as searchable, 
Um, that would be great. So I think we're going to start doing that. We actually saw, or you saw us do it in our last video. We actually removed the entire boss battle, and then we put a card. So if you were wanting to see that boss battle, or maybe you're stuck, you want to know how something got done, uh, rather than leaving you hanging or have to go find another video, we actually already had that information available, and we figured we'd go ahead and direct you to it. So uh, look for that card. You'll, you'll see them pop up in the upper right-hand corner. It's that little exclamation mark, and usually there's some sort of text that says something regarding whatever it is but oh hey speaking of text there is a link go ahead and check us out on twitter that's right get your tweet on as we are highly active over on the twitter sphere but hey we're actually getting pretty close to the end his uh, health meter is almost depleted and all we have to do is actually melt that last gold plate there and it should take us away so we'll go ahead and check out our heat ray and i'm kind of in the way of some stuff here so i'll melt you down get out of the way buddy and next up Gold plate and three, two, one. Oh wait, it's not done yet. He comes down one more. Oh no, wait, that's right. We gotta charge up the panel. That's right. What? Uh, you know me, always forgetting stuff. So, all right, we gotta switch over to somebody that has the electricity ability, like Rocket Raccoon, and go ahead and pump, 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 pump it up. Oh, these guys got in my way and knocked my block off. That's no good. But hey, guess what? We're gonna pump it up. Once it's all charged up, it actually takes us away. And we have the final cutscene removed. And we have, uh, well, we got a decent comet cover this time, huh? All right, well, guess what? Level 15 Red King Revelation free play is complete. We got all those pesky collectibles, and actually it was pretty quick and easy, but uh, we got that first gold brick for completing the story mode. The second one was awarded for getting that really low, easy requirement of 35,000 studs. Look at that, 912 million. That's right. Cha-ching! Uh, speaking of cha-ching, we got all 10 mini kits, and we get a little bit more studage on top of that as well as the comic book, Ooh, The Incredible Hulk. We'll have to go check that one out. And, of course, we did get a chance to freely, freely, freely. So that that's nice. We got a gold brick for both completing the mini kits and for freeing Lee. And last but not least, we got Beta Ray Bill unlocked. So we'll go ahead and purchase him at a later date. I don't think money's going to be a factor anymore for us, uh, but I still recommend purchasing all of the pink bricks and all the other things, too. And if there's any, like, uh repairs or anything that need to be done in the open world to look at me i haven't even looked at the guide yet which brings me to my next point check us out on facebook twitter or you know happythumbsgaming.com also has our trophy achievement guides which are highly recommended and have all sorts of information about the hub worlds and uh, trophy achievements and collectibles so check it check it out shout out to tyler p for hooking that up as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time